All right, so now we're going to go over just screen the, the, next thing, the next phase, screening. All right, screening for pin downs. We're going to, we're going to cover two types of pin downs, the, the regular pin down on the floppy action, and then, then we're going to go on the, uh, on the wide pin down and sort of the options you have on it, again, on a 3 on 0 setting. All right, so let's get, um, let's get everybody involved, actually. Let's work on, let's get a player up top. Let's get a line up top. What do we got? We got eight or nine? Eight. eight. Okay. So let's get let's get two players underneath, which we have one in bounds, one out of bounds. All right. Let's get let's get a group of players on this side. All right. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have the balls in this line. Okay. We're gonna dribble down. Let's have uh, one. Let's have one more in the middle. So here's what we're going to do. We're all going to start together here. You're going to come to the, to the top. This line's going to come look in the post. It's not going to be there. We're going to swing it just for the sake of the drill. All right? So stop. So here's what we want to do. I just want to come down and set a pin down so you're going to be actually under the basket. After I pass it, all right, after he passes it here, looks at the post, he passes it here, then I'll go under the basket. The pin down is going to be set right here. All right? I don't want to go all the way down to here, I want to set it right around here, okay? Now, the player underneath, we're just going to get some reps shooting the ball. The player underneath, I just don't want to start from here to come off my screen because then it's a, it's a track meet and then the defender's really not moving. You always want to move your defender away from where you want to come off the pin down. The pin down is going to be set. We're going to bend our knees on it. We're going to have our arms out so we're protecting ourselves. The player underneath, just simply, I just want to come off and we're going to work on tight curls to the basket. All right, so now as I come through, the player's going to then pass right to here. All right, you can either use the dribble and get to the other side or just finish on the tight curl. This is ba we'll go over some defensive coverages and what's going to be open and what's not. All right, so all we're going to do is work on that tight curl for layup. We're going to go about seven reps on this. So here's how we're going to do it. If I'm under here, I'm going to there. All right? If you start here, you're going there, and you're coming here. So we'll rotate that way. Does everyone understand what we're doing? So if, again, if I'm starting here, I'm going there, you're going there, you're coming here. All right, we're going to get seven reps on this. Again, the balls are going to start here, okay? Hold up. So now, whoever's going there, responsible for getting the rebound and get, bringing it out. So if you're going there, after the heat curls it in, just come and get the rebound, and then you're going to go to that line. All right, let's go to work. Good, set the pin down, wait for it. Good, coming off, hands are up. Good, coming off, finish. Good, that's one, let's go, next, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good, coming off. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're going there, the balls are gonna start there. All right, so again, after he curls it off, so if I'm the guy who passes it, all right, you pass it here, coming off, I pass it, I wanna be the one grabbing the rebound. All right, after you come off the curl, I mean, after you come off the curl and you finish, you're just going there, all right? And after you come through, you're just coming here, okay? Good, coming off, move, good, hands are up, good, right there, that's two, let's go, good, let's go, next, good, pass, good, coming off, hands are up, good, all right, hold up. Now, remember, it's really important that we set our screen right here, all right, because again, We'll go over in a minute because we want, just in case this guy's coming off, all right, and my man gets disconnected. So if he's setting the screen, right, if he's setting the screen here and I'm guarding the screener, all right, so I'm guarding the screener, he's coming off the curl. If this is a really good shooter or he clips him off the screen, where I'm now going to get disconnected to stop this, what do you think you're going to do? You're cutting. But if I'm here setting the screen and my man gets disconnected and I'm, I'm trying to get ahead of steam, I'm under the basket, I can't make much of a play. So I want to get enough spacing to set a good screen. All right? If my man gets disconnected from me, I'm automatically cutting to the rim. You watch great players, great bigs in the NBA, that's all they want to do. All right? Especially if you're setting up with great shooters, a uh, Kyle Korver, a Clay Thompson, someone of that magnitude. This guy come, uh, guarding the screener always gets disconnected to stop that curl for that jumper or going out to the three. So whenever a screener gets his man disconnected, he's cutting. But he needs that space to be able to set the screen and then make the cut. All right, let's go about four more reps. All right, let's go to work. 
Good, set the screen, coming off, good. Right there, four, good, three more. Good, let's go. Set the screen, coming off tight, coming off tight. Good, that's five, two more. Good, let's go. Good, coming off, good, that's six, one more. Let's go. Good, pass, good, coming off. Hands are up, good. All right, stop. Now, the first thing a defender should be, I mean, uh, your passer should be seeing if you set a screen, uh, coming off the screen, are your hands, all right? You should never have your hands down or, or on the sides and then make the decision when he makes the pass to be able to catch the ball. It's sort of like a catcher or a pitcher. If a pitcher's pitching 100 miles an hour, you want to give him a signal. You never see a catcher like this trying to take a 100 mile an hour fastball off the chest. So the first thing, it doesn't matter if you're going to curl it, you're going to, you're going to curl it, fade it, you know, come off with a jump shot, run out to the three, all right? You're always going, they're always going to see your hands and be consistent with that. Okay, so now our defender comes, he, he, he fights through the screen, all right, man still connected on the screen. So what I want to do now is I want to come off, all right? I'm coming off the pin down, and now we're going to hit right here for the shot from 15 feet, okay? Same thing, seven reps, same rotations. Let's get three people in this line first. Two people up top. Actually, let's get three up top. All right, because this, we're always going to have people here, all right? Everyone understand what we're doing? Just curling for a jump shot at the elbow. All right, good. Good, coming off. Hands are up. One, two, shot. Good. Good. Right there. Coming off. That's okay. One, two. Good. Two. Come on, come on, come on. We're good. Wait for the screen. Coming off. Hands are up. Good. Coming off your inside foot. Very good. That's three. Let's go. Coming off. Good. Good job. Right there. Good. Four. Hold up. Now, it's important, all right, we talk about the footwork coming off. I always want to, on the catch, I always want to catch it and lean on my inside foot, all right, right, left, it doesn't matter if I'm a lefty or righty, I want to come off my inside foot. Very simple, basic thing, but that's, that's we want to keep it like that. And after the pass, I want to space out to the wing just again because this guy's here, the passer's guy's here, and now after the pass, all right, now if you space out, I got I to gotta go with you, or you could cut to the basket, so I, I got to move with you. So you're just going to go to the wing uh, as that's happening. Let's get three more reps, and then we'll move on to the next thing. All right, good. Right there, space out, good. Good job. Two more, let's go, let's go. Good. Pa post up, pass up top, good. Right there, set the screen, good. Good job, one more. Good, let's go. Good job. Coming off. Good. Right there. Good, all right, hold up. Okay, now, as the defender now goes around the screen instead of trying to fight through it, we're gonna go where the defense isn't. So again, as the, as the screen gets set, all right, if my man's gonna go and, and fight, not fight, just go around it, I just want to now set my inside foot, use my inside arm. I want to push off on, on the sort of the rib section of my, of, of my teammate, my screener, and I want to shoot the shot from about 17, 18 feet. All right, same rotation. Again, I want to set my man up. This probably isn't really game realistic where you're going to be posting up first and then coming off, but I just want to sort of have some type of action going on before, before we're getting into it. All right, let's go to work. All right, let's go. Good, coming off, inside foot, good. That's one, let's go, good. Good job, coming off, right there, good. That's two, good, good job, good. Coming off, good, inside foot, right there, good. That's three, good job, let's go. Coming off, good, right there, oh, that's four, good. Let's go, coming off, good. Good job, inside foot, good. That's five, two more. Let's go, coming off, set that screen, inside foot, good. Six, one more, good job, good shot, good. One more, one more, one more, coming off, good, right there. Very good, all right. So now let's get, get me a, get me a screener here, get me a defender on that screener, get me a player trying to get open a passer up top and then a defender on him. All right, let's just 
take a look at what it's going to look like, all right, and what, a, what the offensive player should be looking for to make that pocket pass to the screener. Again, we talked about the importance of setting the screen here, so now just in case I have my, my spacing to cut and do what I need to do or, or re-space out here for a little jump shot out of that spot. But again, what to look for if I'm the player coming trying to get open. All right, so uh, passes up top, screen's being set. All right, hold up. Now, guy guarding the screen and you want to stay connected, so you're here. All right, so come one more step in. Now players here, you, who's the offensive player? Okay, so you want to take your man a little bit away, so he's face guarding you. Okay, so start here under the basket. We got to take him away a little bit. We're staying low. We're coming off. Now stop. Now he's fighting through. However you want to do it, you want to lock and trail, lock and go is fine. On the regular, on the, on the regular curl, he's staying connected. All right, so you're going all the way up. You're fighting through. Go ahead. You're fighting through. Slow motion right there, shot. So that's a perfect sort of play defensively, all right, because he got through the screen, he stayed connected, and we're good to go. But now if you get held up on that screen, all right, if you get hit and you sort of get clipped, and now I have to be disconnected right there. So if I'm coming off, all right, if I'm coming off and I can still catch the pass, but I know the screener's man's like this or like this, automatic, and you're fighting through, automatically I'm catching the ball, you're rolling, I'm making a pass with my right hand into the shot. So we're not going to have defense on it right now, I just want to see what to look for. Again, if I'm coming off that screen and I see the screener's man disconnected and I catch it, it's an automatic dump down. If I'm the screener and my man gets disconnected, for me, I'm automatically cutting. It's, it should be an automatic read based on repetitions in a drill. Alright, so let's just go, go with that. So again, coming off, right when I catch it, I want to catch it and drop it. I don't want to catch it and wait and then make that pass. It's not going to be there, all right? And help's already going to be there. So as I catch it, I catch it, I drop it on my right hand, lead him to the basket for a layup, all right? Let's go. And again, after I make the pass, I'm spacing. Good, right there. Good. Good. That's one. Same rotation. So let's go. Good. Right there. Make the pass. Right there. Good. Drop it. Two. Good. Make that screen. Get some space right there. Two, good, right there, drop it. That's three, good, let's go. Good, come on. Good, coming off. Good, right there, that's four. Let's go one more rep, let's go five. Good, good. Set it up again, do it again, that's fine. That's fine. Good, coming off. Hands, drop it. One more, one more rep. Good, coming off, good. Good job, good. Now again, it's important when I make the pass, space out to the wing. We'll go over that in a couple of drills, why we're gonna do that. So this, the screener now could be a good mid-range to deep shooter. All right, if their man gets disconnected and they're not good, maybe not athletic or big enough to be a finisher, so then after I, I set the screen, instead of rolling to the basket here, I set the screen and then I space out to about 15 to 17 feet. 